Hello and uh, welcome to another uh, video from trainingright.com. Uh, in this video, we'll be talking about um, how we could be creating a data-driven test uh, for a mobile app. Um, if you have been watching this uh, series, um, you would know that uh, previously we had shown you um, how to uh, test a simple uh, activity or simple app. Um, Today we're going to be um, basically um, connecting to Excel, drawing the data from there, and then passing the data to the script, and then creating what is called a data-driven um, test. All right, so let's um, go ahead and take a look uh, how it is done. Um, so here is uh, my emulator, and uh, I'm going to be uh, quickly looking at uh, the mobile app uh, we have uh, for you. and. Uh, we, in our previous uh, video, we have shown you uh, this simple app uh, from Training Right, and basically what this does is, uh, um, this is a simple activity where um, a, a prospective student would go in and then enter his name and uh, phone number and the details and uh, um, what kind of course they are interested in. And when they hit the submit, uh, it's going to shoot us uh, an email giving us the, his details uh, and then we're going to be contacting them uh, trying to explain how the program works. Well, so today we will be parameterizing it. Um, so in fact, uh, the script is going to be parameterized uh, by connecting to an um, Excel uh, and we'll be drawing the data from Excel. So let me quickly show you on the Excel uh, spreadsheet as uh, what kind of data we have. Uh, now. If you look into it, uh, we got a bunch of um, fields in here. Um, I have a test case ID, test uh, scenario ID, customer name, phone number, email address, and the product they are interested in. And uh, do we have uh, the permission to execute uh, uh, this, this this particular uh, you know test case or not? Now, if you um, look into it, um, almost all of them has permission except um, for one. Uh, right, so this is uh, uh, the scenario number six, uh, where we have this uh, pre-ASHA. Um, I don't want to execute uh, that, but the rest of the stuff I do want to execute. All right, so what I'm going to do here is uh, I will uh, go into my um, Eclipse, uh, make sure that uh, I start up uh, uh, the Android uh, from the device manager, I would go ahead and then uh, start uh, my emulator, which I have done. So this is my emulator over here. Um, it doesn't matter where we are as long as uh, we have an emulator there and then the app is deployed on it. Um, we will go ahead and then uh, run this uh, script on this emulator and see if it is able to do the testing. So what I have done is I've created this uh, um, in Eclipse. Um, I went in and I created this um, uh, Robodium um, data-driven uh, test. And in this, basically, if um, um, you have knowledge of um, Java, uh, basically that's what I'm doing. I'm just going in here and um, you know writing some code, uh, um, trying to get connected to an Excel, and uh, you know draw the data from there. So I got a few um, you know things going on in here. Um, the idea here is, as we deploy, we should be able to go and then see uh, these messages. So if you see over here um, in my, uh, the logcat, uh, which comes off uh, from my uh, DDB, uh, DDMS, um, basically I could go and then look into what it is doing at this time. So let us get started. Let us um, uh, go and then um, test this unit test. So the Android unit test is what I'm going to be doing. and uh, uh, before I do that, let me just clear the um, console in here so that we could see uh, the messages. So I'm trying to push it, push my test onto the emulator. So here we go. It is, as you can see, it is doing that. And uh, let me also bring up the emulator here to see when the test would start. Um, now I'm using a JUnit, um, you know, framework over here. So um, as soon as um, it is the APK. Uh, gets deployed and gets started. Um, I should be showing you that. Uh, in fact, as you can see over here, uh, my training right app one demo APK is um, um, has been pushed into the emulator. And uh, um, basically, what it is going to do right now is it is going to invoke that and then do the testing. So it's launching the instrumentation Android test. Uh, basically, what it does is um, it is going to 
uh, from Eclipse so it is going to get connected and then send the data back into Eclipse. So here is my application that is going to get invoked and uh, let us see what it happens. Now uh, ooh, we got uh, an issue here so uh, the test seems to have failed. Um, so let us see what's going on in here. Um, the reason the test could have failed is uh, we will go and look into the logs here. Um, hmm. um, the uh, Java IO file not found. Uh, let us see the data. Uh, data. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do here is uh, do a simple. Um, troubleshooting as uh, what had happened. So in order to do my troubleshooting, I'm going to bring up my uh, DDMS and uh, I will uh, bring up my uh, app uh, to see what happened in here. So uh, here is my app. So as I bring my app, um, I could get a handle um, uh, and then I could go and then look into what is happening in here. So I think uh, everything is good to go here. So uh, now these are the troubleshooting uh, techniques uh, that you would be learning, um, you know, once you join this course, so that you have an idea of what is happening. You know, what is uh, um, emulator without the GPU emulation detected? Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so this is the training right app, uh, black box testing. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so this is what we're going to be doing. Uh, we will try and push it one more time and see, um, you know, so I'll go into the Java perspective and try and um, push it one more time um, because uh, one of the files I get is it was not able to instantiate and uh, see what was going on. So that's the Java null um, exception which we saw in there. So let us do it one more time and here we go. Um, so here we're going to be watching it. So uh, application deployed, no need to reinstall, project uh, dependencies, uh, and uh, let us see uh, if it is going to invoke the application and then uh, do whatever it is supposed to do. So here we go. Uh, no, uh, so we have an issue here. So I think, uh, uh, let me just um, uh, see what's going on in here. Okay, um, yeah, figure out the problem. Um, basically, uh, this is basically what was happening. I was uh, pointing it to a different um, Excel file, and uh, that was the reason the, uh, the fields of that Excel file were not matching with the fields of uh, um, what was in there, so that was causing the problem. So here we go. Um, now, I am going to uh, run it one more time to see how it's going to behave. Um, so as you can see, um, it is going to deploy. And uh, um, as it does that, um, over here, uh, the few things are happening. Um, your, and the details are being shown in the, in the uh, log file here. Uh, the, and uh, now, let, let me just quickly take a look into what is happening. OK, as you can see over here, uh, the activity had popped up. And the first name, which happens to be John Smith, and uh, this phone number and email, and uh, uh, type the course name you are interested in. So he's interested in SOAP UI. So that's gone. Now the next person, his name, uh, that's my name. and. Uh, my phone number and uh, email address and all that. And I am interested in mobile apps automated testing. So this is the third person from my Excel sheet. That's her phone number and uh, you know all the details. Okay. Now um, I have intentionally um, you know kept a bug in here, um, and you would be seeing it uh, that even though it is doing everything as a part of uh, the uh, data-driven testing. Um, but at the end, uh, it's going to edit out, and um, um, uh, that is basically what we'll be covering as a part of the next video. So what um, in, uh, in this, uh, there it is. Okay, uh, this error, um, I had intentionally created that bug so that we could uh, show you in the course um, as, as where that bug is coming from and how you would go about, um, you know, uh, troubleshooting it uh, using the different utilities um, that are, um, 
offered to us uh, through the Android uh, um, you know, SDK. Now, um, the Logcat is extremely important. So it is very important that you have an idea of uh, um, you know, how to read this, uh, um, the uh, logs in here as they are getting dumped. And uh, uh, along with it, uh, another thing which is of extreme uh, significance is uh, the DDMS system. When we have the DDMS system popping up, uh, so that is going to show you based on what you deploy uh, it is going to show you everything as uh, what gets deployed. And uh, um, now your app, uh, once you tap into your app, um, now if you go back, that is going to give you some details of your app as to what is sitting on your app and how you could go ahead and then troubleshoot it and whatnot. All right, so um, coming back to uh, this Excel sheet, if you take a look into the Excel sheet, now uh, we started off with John Smith and uh, then uh, you had uh, this guy, you had this guy, you had this guy, this person and then it did not do the execution for that because that was a part for script so that's basically what we had mentioned in our script that it shouldn't be doing. Now the big uh, point which I want to draw uh, in this video is uh, um, you know uh, between now and uh, um, the research uh, is between now and the year 2016, mobile apps um, are going to be uh, a huge thing, a very big thing. Um, um, how big? Uh, basically everything around us uh, will have a mobile app. Uh, so if you're in your car, the latest cars would have, uh, you would have the ability to like um, using your Bluetooth, uh, put in your app uh, onto your um, you know dashboard uh, of your car of the latest cars if you are traveling from here to your country um, let's say if you're going to India or let's say if you're going uh, on vacation and for whatever reason if you have a long flight and if you want to go ahead and play with your apps uh, or your games you you should be able to do that on your flight um, so through Bluetooth, um, you know, you, you need not watch the boring movie that they are showing. So you can have your own games, uh, your own apps uh, that you could be uh, through Bluetooth uh, could be deploying it temporarily onto that screen and then playing with it. Um, you might have heard a lot about iWatch from Apple. Um, now, so you would be able to do things um, on our watches, on our uh, glasses. I mean, you name it. Uh, so the mobile apps are going to be... Uh, a very very uh, big in demand in the uh, coming months to coming years so um, this is the time learn it now and uh, be ready for that hot market and uh, that's what we try to do in this course we try to uh, show you all of these advanced things uh, that you need to know in order to um, you know be um, uh, like an expert in um, um, in mobile app testing. So I have not gone over the code in this video, uh, but uh, if somebody who had done Selenium, uh, this should be pretty easy for them to understand uh, what I'm talking about because we are going to be writing some Java code. And uh, um, I am using uh, Robotium to do that. So if you look into some of um, um, some of the jar files which I've used in here. Um, the jar files which I've used uh, are basically from Robotium. So the hierarchy or the layout of the project uh, is, is, is of significance. So if you go into the reference uh, libraries, in the reference libraries you can see that I'm using the uh, JXL which happens to be the jar file for uh, connecting to uh, a CSV file or, or a um, you know Excel file and I'm using the Robotium um, you know, jar file to do the um, you know automated testing of the apps. Well, uh, if this is something which you um, think that uh, you want to get into, then um, you know, uh, feel free to uh, give us a call or inquire about these courses uh, by going to trainingright.com or call us at 732-998-6650. Uh, we'll be more than happy to uh, address your concerns and your questions. Um, and uh, thank you so much for watching this video, and uh, we hope to see you with another video sometime soon. All right, um, have a good one.